It's a story that's captivating the interest of people all across the world. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Kara Sundland. As we wait to find out the cause of the deadly B-17 plane crash at Bradley International Airport earlier this week, we now know the names of those who were on the plane who were killed or injured. These are the names of the seven people who lost their lives during that vintage plane crash. They're from Connecticut, Massachusetts, and as far away as California. And as families mourn those lives lost, there are seven other names of those who are in the hospital or at home resting. Now, we just spoke with investigators from the NTSB, and they're working right now to remove the wreckage of that vintage plane from the site. Channel 3's Shante Passmore is live at Bradley International Airport. What did they tell you about the wreckage, Shante? Well, Kara, right now we know that the wreckage is considered evidence, and in it, the NTSB hopes it helps tell part of the story of what led to this fiery crash. Investigators gave us an in-depth look as far as what they look for, as you'll see in this video. We know they've been looking at ground scars and looking at videos and photos from the public. NTSB said the last major inspection for this B-17 was this past January. The Collings Foundation owned this vintage aircraft, and we've learned investigators started interviews with other pilots with this group. Investigators said the airplane had one prior accident in the 80s when it overshot a runway in Pennsylvania. Also, an incident in 1995 in Nebraska when landing gear failed, but NTSB did not investigate, and a team is expected to be out here for a few days, but the overall investigation will take several months. In that time, we did ask where would this record wreckage rather be stored and we learned it would be stored in a safe secured location away from the elements live in windsor locks this afternoon shante passmore channel three eyewitness news all right thank you shante and friends of the man who was piloting the b-17 say he was the kind of guy you'd want to have a beer with ernest mccauley was one of the most experienced b-17 pilots in the nation he was from Long Beach, California, and had more than 7,000 hours of experience flying B-17s. His buddy, Paul Colella, told us through FaceTime that Ernest, who was 75 years old, was an incredibly kind man who loved teaching people about the iconic plane he piloted. You know, they went up for a one-hour ride, and it didn't make it. It's really sad. We're going to be hearing from the families and friends of loved ones affected by this disaster. The family of Jim Roberts, one of the victims, will speak with us tonight on Eyewitness News starting at 4.30. And the company where one of those killed in the B-17 crash worked is now remembering Robert Rydell as an excellent employee. The Hartford released a statement saying... We're very saddened to learn of the passing of our longtime employee, Robert Rydell, in the crash yesterday at Bradley International Airport. We offer our condolences to his family and friends and to everyone affected by the tragedy. Rydell was a World War II buff. His family says they find strength in the fact he died doing something he truly loved.